Okay, everybody, I have to tell you about my birthday. Mama turned 35, I told you guys that last week or two weeks ago, I can't remember. Josh surprised me with that birthday party a week ahead of time. Even more reason why I had no idea that it was happening. Yesterday was my actual birthday, you guys, and I have to tell you, it was one of the best days of my life. And let me tell you all the reasons why. Okay, so, the reason why I'm wearing this jacket, this dope jacket, is because this was one of the things I found. Sorry about the stomach. Didn't mean to show you all that. Crop tops, man. <laughs> anyway, we'll get to this bad boy here in a second. But let me tell you guys a little bit about my morning. It was so good. Okay, so I am not a morning person, but since I've had children, I have learned that my mornings are just better when I wake up early. And I actually really enjoy them, but I rarely ever voluntarily wake up before my alarm goes off. But I still woke up early on this morning. And I came out to find that Josh had made me coffee and he went to go get me, we actually still have them over there, some Casey's donuts. And y'all, I don't know if you guys have Casey's where you're at, we have them all over the Midwest, but they have got the best pizza and the best donuts. And so I just loved it. I had a maple donut, which is my favorite. And they also have these like, they're almost like croissants with like strawberry and cream in the middle. And like, oh my gosh, they're so dang good. And so I enjoyed those. I watched YouTube videos by myself before anybody woke up. It was literal heaven. So I went in to go get my makeup on so that I could start heading out for the day. My sweet dad texted me and he's like, Kristen, I got coffee and donuts for you for breakfast. And I just didn't have the heart to tell him that I literally was drinking coffee and eating donuts at that time. I got the rest of my makeup done, hopped in my little car, and Josh kept the girls so that my sister and I could go garage sailing. Okay, so this is like my favorite thing. We sat outside and we caught up on life. It was just so beautiful. We drank the same coffee, ate the same donuts again, and then my sister and I got out of there. So I'll show you guys a little bit of footage of our garage sales right here. I think that's like the hard part is like, what is really cool and what do I actually like want to bring into my house? Yeah. I don't even know what this is. Oh my gosh. These like salt. Oh no, it's uh, she shells. She shells. Like, but I don't even know what this would be for. Ooh, if you hear that thunder, it is thundering outside right now. We're getting all kinds of rain, which is so great for the plants. So great for all the weeds in my garden. <laughs> Y'all, life has been just so fun lately. I can't even tell you. I really feel like the last few weeks have just been like balm to my soul. It's been so good to be able to spend time with friends and family and do fun things like what I'm gonna tell you about for my birthday. But to be honest with you, my year has not felt like this this whole time. Before I went on my 10 year anniversary trip with Josh, I was working ahead to try to make sure that when I was with him that I could fully be with him. But I wanted to create videos so I could still be with you guys in the meantime. And during that time, I really overdid it with the amount that I took on and I started having anxiety attacks, which was really bad. And I was talking to my pastor's wife, Carissa, who you guys met at Junkstock, and she asked me, have you thought about maybe talking to a therapist that can help you figure out how to handle the amount that's on your plate and do it in a healthy way? And so I thought that that was a great suggestion and I was really excited when BetterHelp reached out and asked to partner with me on a video. I literally jumped at the opportunity because I was so excited to be 
be able to talk to somebody that was coming from like a neutral space that was not in the midst of all the chaos. Somebody who was kind of in an outside perspective that can look at my situation and help me to know how to handle these things that are causing me anxiety. I started speaking with a therapist recently and she is just wonderful. She's a Christian and she's been helping me so much with handling these things from a Christian perspective. She's literally just been an angel. I'll tell you guys a little bit about BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. You can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. And I'll show you the app right here. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way BetterHelp can match you to the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video. Video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. If your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you can get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom picked for you. More scheduling flexibility and at an affordable price. Get 10% off of your first month at betterhelp.com and I've also linked them below in the description. Anyway y'all, I am sold on therapy as I know thousands of other people are too. So thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. So my sister and I had the best time. Honestly, I love garage sailing for multiple reasons. I just, I love that it's the cheapest you can get. And also I love seeing people's houses. I love seeing what's in people's houses and I love meeting new people as well. And so we got to meet all kinds of nice people and I got some really cool stuff. So I'll show that to you here. First, okay, first I'll show you about with this jacket, you guys. I got this like, utilitarian denim jacket. I can't even, it's not that long, but it's just, about, it's almost to my shorts. I've got long shorts on. Josh calls these my Bermuda shorts and I don't think he's like fully on board with them. But I like them. Um, I pull them up full grandpa style and I, you know what? I think this is a look, right? It's a look. Anyway, I digress. I got this for $4. Isn't that so cool? It's, um, let's see what it's called. It looks like a vintage brand, but y'all can tell me. It's called... Harvey Bernard just says it's 100% cotton and it's a size small if you can believe it this thing is like huge love it it's probably a men's small I'm guessing but I liked it because it has these high pockets like these giant pockets in here and so I thought that this could be really cool for like gardening and stuff so here I am talking like I'm a real gardener I'm looking like a real gardener but y'all should see my garden right now it is just the saddest thing ever it's pure weeds I'm just I'm I've given up okay no I haven't just kidding, I have not given up. I'm go I ordered a stirrup hoe and I'm gonna hoe the junk out of those weeds tomorrow, okay? So I got this. Second really cool thing that I found was this necklace. Now I know y'all are, are I know I know that y'all are thinking, doesn't she already have that necklace? Doesn't she wear that every single day of her life? And here's the deal. First of all, this one's a little bit thicker than the one that I always wear, but I found this one for five dollars at a garage sale. Love it. I actually do like that it's a little bit thicker, but I'm a little bit nervous because the one that I always wear, it's Josh's late grandma's necklace. And yes, I wear it every single day, but because I wear it every single day, I'm so afraid that it's gonna break or I'm gonna lose it or something like that. So now I'm so happy to have this one to be able to wear for daily use. And you know, maybe I'll put the other one on for like a little bit more like special occasions, something like that. But you guys, I think that it's like at least gold plated. It's like legit. You know what I'm saying? This whole, you know, that's $9 that I've spent already. All right. So moving forward, I did find some other stuff, but I'll have to save it for either like the Christmas or the fall haul kind of stuff. You know, like I'm saving it up for when those come out. So you're not gonna see all of it, but I'll show you what I can show you. First of all, I found some balls baseballs. I saw Sarah whom she holds dearly. She was doing like a summer decorating video and in it she used baseballs. And actually I was watching it the day that I, actually I was watching it with Josh that morning of my birthday. She used baseballs to decorate for summertime and Josh really liked that because he grew up playing baseball. We live right down the street from baseball fields and we go down there sometimes with the girls to watch games. When I went to this garage sale, I saw that they had a bunch of vintage baseballs and so I picked them up and now that I have them home I'm not sure what to do with them maybe just like stick them in a bowl or something like a bowl of balls 
I don't know. Somebody, maybe I need to go back and watch Sarah's video as to like how I'm going to decorate with these. But I just thought that they were so cool. Especially, man, this one's got, it's got a lot of love to it, you know? So anyway, I just thought that they were super cool and I can't wait to decorate with them. You guys made fun of me last time I bought one of these, but I did find another Kakana Club. A cheese crock or whatever. Last time I called it Kakawana Club. I've always called my other one my Kakawana. Kakawana <laughs> Croc. Uh, anyway, good grief. I got this little guy and the other one I use actually is my paint water, like washer, rinser, paintbrush, rinser router. And this one I'm just gonna use, right now I've got this guy in our bathroom, I'll show it to you. Right now I've got this like fake little croc. It's like obviously kind of like a new, and then they put this on there probably to try to make it look more vintage. Anyway, I think I'm gonna actually switch this out and put our little Q-tips in this one instead. And heck, I'll sell this one at the farmer's market. All right, next, I did find this little belt. It is all leather. It's not like the coolest leather belt I've ever found. I would prefer if it had like a brass end to it, but I do like it, and don't hate me for saying this, but I do like it because it's small enough for me. So I keep buying these belts that I like, and then there's not a hole that fits me. I'm just being honest, okay? It's like that's my problem but this one does fit me so now i have a nice leather belt that fits i feel like a weirdo talking about my body on the internet but i have one okay and next i did find this really pretty i don't know is it a croc or what you guys can kind of let me know but i just really want to give you a peek into the inside of this okay so here's the deal people this says tapioca on it right i don't need tapioca i don't hate tapioca I just don't eat it and I certainly don't keep it in a giant jar so when I bought this I was like oh I should just be able to I, I figured it was something that was put on later and I should just be able to get like citrus strip or something and take it off well I got home and I used some I used some acetone on it to see if it would like start to even come off a little bit but it, y'all it's crazy I can't even feel an indentation as to like where the glaze ends and the applique begins and i'm not gonna lie i looked up and i, sh I showed y'all in the footage that there was two of these there was a tapioca one and then there was like i don't know what it was like a coffee one or something and i liked this one better because it definitely looked older but i looked up from the stamp on the bottom when these were made it looks like they were made from like the 1850s to like 1890s and but they had the names on them and so that makes me think that the name is actually like glazed into the piece basically so i was a little bit bummed about that because it's so pretty but it's way prettier on this side and without the name but it doesn't matter so i'm just going to show you guys a little bit of the texture and it's obviously like broken and been glued together i paid ten dollars for this so it's kind of a lot, but honestly, I don't mind my money going to garage sale people because it's neighbors, you know? I figured I would just use this, but I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for. So somebody give me an idea, but I just thought it was so pretty. It's obviously very old, and you guys know how I love blue and white pieces. So we're gonna make this work somewhere in the house. All right, and my last garage sale find is actually these antique bells. Okay, so can somebody, this has like a, they have like these wooden pieces in them. You hear that? Isn't that cool? So I wanted to put these outside somewhere, but I love how they sound. And can somebody tell me what metal this is? Is it copper or, it has to be copper, right? Look at some of these other ones, because that's not the only one. There's five of these like larger ones. That has to be copper, right? I guess I immediately just thought that they would be brass, but the thunder but they do look a little bit coppery so i thought that these would be so pretty outside ever since we got our wind chime josh talks about how much he likes it and to just have kind of like another tone i think would be really pretty so after garage sealing my sister and i met my mom over at cheesecake factory y'all when it comes to my birthday i feel i was like joking with some friends about this I was like, all year round, I'm so ethical and I try to buy from like local vendors or try to buy from thrift stores. And then on my birthday, I just get so basic. I'm just like, yes, my mother-in-law took me to Starbucks. Heck yes. She took me to Old Navy. Let's go. And then for my birthday or lunch, we went to Cheesecake Factory. 
It was delicious, by the way. My mom offered me the most amazing birthday gift. She offered to paint our house. I don't know if you guys have seen the outside of our house, but the inside looks much better than the outside. The outside, all of the paint is peeling off. It looks terrible. Lord bless her. Y'all just say a prayer for my mom and just thank the Lord for her because she is such a blessing in my life. Anyway, but after that, we went to this shop called Salt Creek Mercantile. And you guys, if you're ever in the Omaha area, it was my first time visiting and I have to tell you, it is my favorite store in Omaha. It's all new stuff, but it's like handmade items or like ethically made items. And they're all basically made in the same way the antiques were made, like all really like great, sturdy, quality materials and they all look like antiques actually there were a few antiques in there but it was just amazing and while I was there I got these little candles I got this one and another one but the, sh the girl that was working there was just so sweet but this smells like nog champa and patchouli which y'all might be like excuse me it's like my favorite scent ever you guys I swear if I had ever smoked weed a day in my life I'm sure I would just go full on like hippie <laughs> but I haven't and I didn't. So uh, anyway, that's the only candle that smelled like that, but oh my gosh, they were so good. All of their candles were poured in store. Anyway, if y'all ever go to Omaha, you should definitely visit there. It's in, um, it's actually in Ashland, Nebraska, which is like halfway between Omaha and Lincoln, but it was amazing. So we went and did that. And then we went to my dad's house and just hung out. My dad grilled burgers and we just hung out, watched a movie. You guys, there is nothing better than family time for me. I just love spending time with my mom, my dad, my stepmom, my brother and my sisters and our girls. It just literally was everything I could ever ask for. So anyway, I just thought I would share with you guys what was like the best weekend. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for coming along with me. And again, if you guys have not already, check out BetterHelp. You guys, it has been awesome so far. I'm just really, really liking it. So you can use my code below to get your discount. And y'all, we will see you next time. Bye.